Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn and Pisces connection reading. And this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take what does. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate as those may be for someone else. All right, so we're going to get some animal oracle cards. We're going to look at what you may be struggling at within the relationship or within yourself within the relationship. We're going to look at current energies. And then we're going to look at future energies for energies that could possibly be coming in for you. Then we'll get some tarot. I've got my green witch tarot. I do not have a link down below for that, which I have to put that in. But you can just go below the video and click on any of them, which will bring you to Amazon. And then just look up green witch tarot. Um, and you can find them that way um, if you want to. And then we'll get some clarifiers, and then we'll close out with an oracle. All right, so what's going on between Capricorn and Pisces? What's happening between Capricorn and Pisces? Also, if you are Pisces, um, I did over on my other channel, it's in the cards tarot, I did do a Pisces reading, if you want to check that out. All right, what are you struggling with? Claiming your independence. Okay, claiming your independence. I feel like within a relationship, you also have to have your independence for yourself. Like you still have to make sure that your needs are met and that you're um, doing things that you enjoy doing, that it's not always about the other person. I feel like that's what makes a perfect relationship. Sorry, just going to adjust this so you can hear me. I feel like that's what makes a good relationship is that you're, you have your independence, but you also have your partnership. You have those things that you like to do, that you like to focus on. You have that time to yourself. You know, you, you have that within the relationship and your partner understands that, okay, that's because that person needs to have that. And I feel like with Capricorn, I'm not saying all Capricorns, but I feel like with Capricorns that we, I'm a Capricorn sun and a Capricorn rising. I feel like Capricorn needs to have their alone time because that's important for their recharge, um, their recharge energy, their recharge moments. Um, I feel like sometimes Capricorn just likes time to have that space to process things, to work on things. And I feel like it's important for Capricorn to have those things that they enjoy and to be able to do those things. Like if you like, you know, golf or you like paddle boarding or you like, you know, like I like horseback riding is being able to do those things that you enjoy doing because that is a recharge energy for you that makes you happier within your, your relationship. So it could be that you are struggling with that within this relationship with Pisces is that, you know, do you have your independence within this relationship? Um, wow, look at this. Another cat. We have the panther spirit, reclaim your power. Are you feeling powerless in this relationship? Okay, so this is current energy, reclaiming your power. It could be, is it a relationship that you want to move away from? Is it a relationship that happened in the past, but you still keep thinking about it? Do you still keep, even though the two of you may have broken up, do you still keep focusing on it? Do you still keep playing through it in your mind? Is that something that you're doing? Um, is that something that you keep replaying and why are you giving all of your power to that situation or that past relationship so I feel like it's definitely about coming into your own power and also has something to do with cats all right and then we have the crow spirit co-create with spirit working together to get you into a better place a better mindset to claim your reclaim your power dolphin spirit this and that are true Taking some bits, taking what's positive, learning from experiences that didn't work out, right? Learning to let go of those things that are holding you back or that are putting you into a negative energy. Taking little bits of this and a little bit of that. But I feel like the main message is reclaiming your power and what is it that you're focusing on and what is it that you're thinking about? Do you have your independence within and your power within the relationship with Pisces or do you feel like that person has all the power did you give all the power to that person and if you did why did you do that 
Why do you feel you need to do that? <laughs> exactly. Why do you feel that you need to do that if you gave all of your, your power um, to the other person? Or again, if it's a relationship that you had in the past and you keep thinking about it and you keep bringing it up and maybe you're bringing it up to a current relationship, like why do you keep doing that? Why do you keep, is that something that you need to let go? Why do you keep trying to process that? I feel like it's just looking at why are you in that energy? What, what are these eight of cups that you need to look at and you need to let go of? Nine of swords, look at that. Eight of cups and nine of swords. You're worrying about something. You're stressing about something. You're having anxiety. You're having sleepless nights. I feel like it's if it's a past relationship, it's something that you can't change, that you can't go back to. But if it's a current relationship, it's something that you have to pay attention to. And why do you feel that you don't have your independence within the relationship? Are you feel like you're walking on eggshells? Are there things that you need to discuss with your Pisces partner? Are there things that have to be worked through? Are you holding things in? Why are you holding things in? Reclaim your power and be able to talk about those. Work through things. We have the Page of Cups, and I love this one because she's standing there with a canvas, a blank canvas, and this beautiful scenery and all of her paints, and she's ready to paint a picture. And what picture is it that you want to paint? Is it a picture of you in this Nine of Swords and this Eight of Cups energy, or is this picture of this waterfall and this freedom and this flowing and this vibrancy? Starting new, new emotions, new feelings. Eight of Swords, you're holding yourself back from something. Eight of Swords can mean a couple different things. It can be that you're holding yourself back from something. Or it could be that you are ready to face something. Like you, when the time is right, you feel like you will move forward. That you will take on these challenges. That you will reclaim the, your power. That you're realizing, okay, I've got to let go of some Eight of Cups. I've got to work through this Nine of Swords. I'm ready to charge forward. I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to reclaim my power. I'm ready to run into this ace of wands energy right aces are new beginnings new starts new actions wands are actions what are those new actions that you can take new beginnings all right the star feeling positive feeling good having hope having that direction i feel like i feel there's lost hope back here i feel there's weakness i feel that there's sadness i feel like there's lost hope back here i feel like it's you coming into your power right and making choices that are best for you, that make you happy, that make you feel positive. Maybe there's some big changes that need to be rearranged here. With the Seven of Wands, she's she is rearranging those wands, but she's in this cozy little cottage, right? But she's putting things in order the way she wants to have them done. And that safe, comfortable feeling of knowing, yes, like I'm in this space, which is this future energy. I'm finally in this space where I feel comfortable, where I feel like I'm cozy. I feel like I'm safe. It's you taking on those challenges and those things to make yourself get in this energy of whether it's within this relationship, working through things, processing things, talking about things, the high priestess, right? Coming into your own energy and your own power and listening to yourself because I feel like you've been talking to yourself and you've had these feelings about things and you've ignored those and now you're coming into your own power and you're saying, yes, this is what I need to do. This is what is important for me. Look at this, I love it, the Ace of Swords, another Ace. A new way of thinking. Aces, um, Swords is thinking. A new way of thinking, a new way of doing. Big changes are here for you within this relationship. I feel that if it's, a, again, if it's a relationship that you're holding on to from the past that didn't work out, processing and saying why am I holding on to this and this is stopping me from this forward progress and what good is this doing me or if it's a relationship with Pisces and you're having some problems and you're feeling like you're being held back and you're not able to express yourself or say your opinion that what are those things that need to be changed up so that you don't feel that way so that you feel comfortable within the relationship that you feel safe within the relationship what are those changes that need to be done then we have the Queen of Cups, and I feel like that's those emotions and those feelings, but she has a really nice smile there, right? She's feeling happy. She's feeling content. And I feel like that she's by herself on this rock, but I feel it's you claiming your independence, right, and your own power within the relationship. 
or your power over the situation over a past relationship that you feel, yeah, like I'm in control now. I'm in power now. I don't need to focus on the old. All right, so let's get some more tarot. I just feel really sadness here. I don't know why. I just feel this emptiness here. And I feel like that's, that's what you need to work through. You need to reclaim your power. You need to get that back. All right? Happiness. Celebrating. Positive energy that's all around you. Um, hanging in there, right? Letting go of those wands, working through those wands, working through those things, hanging in there, not getting frustrated if things aren't happening as quickly as you want them to. But I feel like at this point, any type of a change is a good, excuse me, a good change. I love this card because the Eight of Pentacles is a new way of doing things, a new way of seeing things, taking closer looks, taking a closer look at those things. He's looking at the details of it, right? What are those things that I can change? What are those things that I can do? Let me take a closer look at this relationship. How do I really feel about this? How am I, like, if I'm feeling like I'm in this Eight of Cups and this Nine of Swords, why am I there? How did I get there, right? What are those things that I need to change? What are those things that I need to do to feel more empowered and changing up and doing things differently? And after you do that, you feel successful. You feel victorious. You're like, yes. I can do it and you're ready to move forward within this relationship. Are there things that you need to work on? Are there things that you have to deal with? Or if it's an old relationship, it's like, okay, I'm ready to let that go. That relationship was in the past. Having those emotions, those feelings, you're emotional about it. When you're letting something go, you know, there's sort of that feeling of loss. And you're like, oh, well, that was so used, I was so used to that. Or maybe it was a fresh breakup with a Pisces. Maybe you just broke up or you're separated. And you have a lot of emotions. And it's okay to go through those emotions. But when it comes, when it's lingering and it's month after month and it's starting to affect your decisions and what it is that you're doing and it's affecting different areas of your life, that's when you have to start taking a look at it. Look at that. We have the Eight of Swords again. So we have that twice in this reading. Two Ace of Swords. Aces are new beginnings and Swords is it getting past those difficult situations and finding new solutions, new ways to get past things. We have the King of Pentacles, somebody who is patient, somebody who is ready to take on challenges, those tough challenges, right? Who wants to make changes, having that power. The lover's relationship, so that's what I was saying, is that if it's within a relationship that you feel like you don't have a voice and you don't have your power, what are those things that you can do to change that up so that you feel that there is a more of a connection between the two of you and you feel that the time is right for you to look into this energy, for you to make these changes, for this connection to be, um, I feel like it's just you coming into your, into your own power. Exactly. Um, strength, confidence. I definitely feel the energy switching from this heaviness, this darkness, this sadness to you coming into your own power here and your strength and ending out with the strength card and that confidence. Page of Cups. Page is young energy, emotions, feelings. We've got the Queen of Cups, cups and we have the page of cups so I feel that there's definitely a lot of emotions and feelings and there may be some crying or some releasing and that's okay that's part of the process releasing that and when you cry that out and you let that go that feels so good because you're like you know the eight of cups when you let that go you're like oh I feel so much better I feel so much better. I'm so glad that I'm not focusing on that. I'm focusing on the things that are important to me. I'm focusing on the things that matter to me. I'm putting my needs first. I'm voicing my opinion. I feel stronger within this relationship, and I feel like I have a voice. Oh, that was the other Queen of Cups. I was like, I thought I thought there was another one. I just feel like you've lost your voice in this relationship. And I feel like this is you coming into your, your own voice. Sometimes, you know, we're, we're people pleasers, right? And you're always giving, giving, giving. And sometimes those other people are taking, taking, taking. And then you feel like you, lo you lose that sense of yourself. 
because you're like, do you even know what makes you happy? Do you know what makes you excited? Do you know what makes you feel motivated? Like you don't even know that anymore because you're always trying to please the other person. It's, a, you know, it's that good give and take where you, where you do that sometimes and that person does for you and it's that back and forth and I feel like that's what needs to be worked on within this relationship. If it's a current re relationship or if it's one from the past that needs to be let go of. That's something that you have to decide. All right, so let's get... Oh. Okay, well, let's see what happened here. All right, well, all of these came <laughs> flying out. <laughs> and this one, we just have the man. And there's two male cards and there's two female cards. Um, one each of the male and the female, like he's just kind of here and he's thinking and he's just kind of processing things and he's trying to find that inner strength and he's just like, oh, let me just really think about this. And then same with the female one. I think she's looking out the window and she's thinking about things. And then there's also the ones where they're holding a rose and a flower, which I feel like that's more of a relationship. But this one is more of thinking. And I feel like this is what you need to do is you need to think and you need to process especially with 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 these here right they're all kind of very heavy um, deep cards thinking processing and then starting new right that new canvas that new thing that you want to start right starting new starting fresh so I feel like that's kind of the energy that you're in now and trying to figure things out and where do you go from here but at least if you're recognizing and you're realizing that something has to be changed right then at least if you're recognizing that then you can move on from there and then what are your next steps but you have to take actions to make changes you can't just think about things right you can't just tell other people how upset you are about things or you're worrying about things or you're stressing about things but not take those actions to make those changes that's what makes things happen is the actions that you do to make the changes. Otherwise, it's not going to change. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.